Hi, I'm Steve from skis.com and today we're going to talk about the dimensions of skis and the turning radius. Now, the ski manufacturers have made it much easier for us today to be able to tell what a ski actually will do by putting some numbers on the ski. All skis pretty much these days have three numbers on them. You'll notice in here it's right behind the binding, but it can often be on the tail or on the side of the ski. This one says that the tail is 103 millimeters wide, the waist is 74, and the tip is 118. So what that does is it creates a side cut on the ski, but we're going to focus on the waist measurement right now of 74. Skis come in a number of different waists, and the wider the ski, the different conditions that it's used for. For example, skis that are between 67 and 75 millimeters approximately are generally designed for hard pack, ice, and groomers. Skis that are 76 to say 88 are more of a go anywhere, do anything kind of ski. Skis that are 90 to about 115 millimeters in the waist are more of your backcountry, crud, SUV type of ski can go over anything. And then your powder skis are usually 115 and above, typically in the 130 range nowadays for most powder skis. So that helps you pick the ski for the kind of conditions that you're in. The second number we want to notice on the ski is what's called a turning radius. Most skis have that printed on it as well. This ski has a 14.5 millimeter turning radius. What that means is, is that when you take a shape ski and you put it on its edge and apply your weight, it creates an arc. And that arc naturally wants to turn. So the turning radius on this ski of 14.5 meters says that in its natural state, this ski will turn and make a circle that is 14.5 meters in radius. So that gives you an idea of how quick. Now turning radiuses um, can vary a lot. Uh, you can see short turning skis usually go between about 11 and 15. Sort of all around skis will go from about 15 to 18 and above 18 are your big wide open GS style turns. Here we have a ski that's more of an all around ski. This one has measurements of 128 in the, in the tip, 84 in the waist, and 112 in the tail. So again, 84 in the waist, this is more of an all-mountain SUV type ski. Uh, it'll go over powder, it'll go over crud, it'll ski fine on groomers and hard pack as well. Uh, pretty much go anywhere because it's got a wider waist so it gets you on top of all that stuff. Secondly is, the turning radius on this ski is a 16 millimeter turning radius. So this one is going to be a much more wide open turn than the previous ski, allowing for the person to have a much more open turn style. Hopefully that's the kind of style that that person wants and the ski will naturally want to do it. It's not to say that you can't make skis turn quicker or wider than they naturally do, but that would be the natural turning radius the ski will do without you forcing it to do something different. That's basically the difference between skis in terms of turning radius and the dimensions which allow you to tell the width of the ski and what kind of conditions would be best for it.